Hey guys, it's time for Art to Heart. Yay! Cue the titles. I'm getting close to the mic, but you can tell. Oh, we cut back. Let's go backwards. There I am. Yay! What up, people? Thump here, and this is Art to Heart, the show where I talk to creatives about their passions. And on today's show, we've got Ali Cantarella. Hi, I'm Ali Cantarella, and I'm a comic book illustrator and a watercolor artist. So you do a lot of wine and coffee art, and it smells delicious. Um, how did that come about? When did you start making liquid food art? Yeah, uh, one time I was waiting for a friend in a bar, and they were super late. And so I was drawing in my sketchbook and drinking some wine. Yeah. And uh, I just decided to put the wine on the page and try coloring with that. And it was really fun. Have you ever thought about using any other kind of liquid food? Because uh, I would totally buy a uh, Ali Cantarella hot dog water <laughs> uh, piece. I'm considering minestrone soup uh, as the next food group that I go oh, to. Oh, no, wait, so, for real? No, probably not. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it must smell amazing when you make that yeah. stuff. Yeah, it smells great, uh, especially the wine paintings. Yeah. Like, you could get drunk just smelling the vapors coming off of that painting. Oh, no, that's... I mean, Sign me up, that's yeah. <laughs> awesome. Is there a process, or do you just actually pour the wine straight out of the bottle, or what do you have to do to make it uh, workable art material? Uh, I use some of the wine straight out of the bottle and then mm -hmm. some of it I make a reduction. So yeah. um, about half the wine goes into a pan and I simmer it on the stove and it gets like really reduced and really vibrant and dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I use um, a cup of plain wine, a cup of the wine reduction, and then whatever is left over, I just drink while I'm painting. Hey, yo, yeah. that's what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So that's part of the process. It's a very important, ah, okay. very cool. pivotal part of the process. Yeah. Well, now you're going to have to start eating hot dogs. Oh, yeah, uh, for the hot dog water Yeah, painting. totally. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> What's your favorite animal to draw? Oh, that's really tough because I think they're all super cute and... Um, I was super bad at drawing animals, and that's why I started drawing them. Oh, so cool. So it's always a challenge for me to draw a new one. Yeah. Um, one of the favorite ones I've drawn is a jerboa. It's a little, like, African bunny mouse. It's really cute. Whoa. Um, yeah, it has really... Bunny mouse. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not even, like, one animal. It's kind of, like, two combined. Yeah, um... it's like, uh, it likes cheese and carrots. <laughs> Of course, I'm a big fan of dogs, and so drawing pet portraits, dog portraits, um, especially anything with like a smashed face, like yeah, kind of like yours, like if it has a flat face, I'm oh, like yeah. drawing it. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, my face gets smashed a lot, wine. <laughs> Do you have a favorite animal that you would consider your spirit animal? <laughs> um, I definitely really like the French Bulldog and the Pug. Um, those are the ones that, uh, when I see them, I feel really happy. I just think they're really sweet and yeah. expressive. Yeah. And, um, I grew up with a French bulldog. Oh, so, fantastic. Yeah. Was so, that your first pet? Yeah. Cool. Tank. I like the, oh, that's a sweet name. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet he was a beast. He was just a fat little French bulldog yeah. with a little stocky body like this. Oh, that's awesome. I like their eyes. Yeah. Especially when they go in different directions. Like the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the best. Yeah. How did you get your start in comics and illustration? Uh, I went to Columbia College, Chicago. That's where I graduated. Sweet. And um, they have a thing called the Weissman Grant, which is a matching grant for any creative project. Okay. So I was a recipient of that, and that helped me fund the printing of The Hasty Pastry, which was my first graphic novel. Um, Sweet. It's like a full-color comic book. It's nice. all about a girl who works in a bakery with a pug. Yeah. So um, that was really 
what started me in comics because once I had this book, I was able to go to comic conventions. Yes. Um, you know, Chicago C2E2, everything like that. And it kind of gave me my foot in the door with a product that people could recognize by me. Comics are really fun, but they're a very solitary craft. You work on them at home. Um, there's a lot of work that you have to do in the computer, a lot of planning that is isolated. Yeah. So I love doing these live events where I get to do caricatures of dogs for um, Paws Chicago. Cool. And BarkBox, I've done some caricatures yeah. for them. Uh, I did live painting with wine on this huge canvas um, for a Chicago Food and Wine Association. Nice. And those are just really social and they're really fun. They're quick. Um, people get to interact with you and ask about the craft, and I think that that's really special. Uh, so I'm currently wrapping up a project called Isagesis Kings and Queens. Yeah. It's a collaborative project with the Sun Brothers. Cool. Um, they're also Chicago creators, so it's been really, really exciting to work with them. That one is going to be available around C2E2 time, which is in April. Yeah. And I'm going to be there. I'm going to be traveling to Seattle for Emerald City Comic Con. Nice. Um, I've got Indiana Comic Con in April. Yeah. Um, there's a few live events in Chicago where I'll be doing wine painting, coffee painting, and I'll be bringing that to the convention season also, so I'm really excited about it. That sounds awesome. You sound busy, which uh, is good. Yes. <laughs> Because it's like only February, and uh, yeah. you already got a lot on your plate, Yeah, which is awesome. Where can people find you online? So you can find me on Instagram, most of all, for my in-progress shots and see what I'm currently working on. And my handle is at the wet stain. And Sweet. then, um, yeah, if you want to check out past work, you can find it at thewetstain.com. Yeah. And anything that you want to buy is up on my Etsy. I've got wine paintings, coffee paintings, um, all my self-published books. Nice. And that's all on Etsy under the wet stain. Cool, cool. How do I end the show? Oh, yeah, I was supposed to think about that. I'm supposed to think about it, and I'm the host. Yeah, how do, what did how you do say? How end the show? A high five? Oh, we could try. Can we? Low five? What's easier for you? Duh. One, two, three. <laughs> no. That was pretty bad. Okay, come on. One, two, three. <laughs> there you go. You gonna leave me hanging? Oh, we're doing this again? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> Sweet. See ya. Bye. If you like this and any of your other videos, don't forget to share and like and subscribe. Yay! <laughs> Till next time, this has been Art to Heart. Yes. Yes. First question. It's still filming. <laughs> I know. I film everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> like I say so at the beginning of every oh, sentence, no. and it's awful. So, oh, I said it again, son of a <laughs> We're both out of luck. <laughs> Maybe with like a, a high five. <laughs> yeah, one, like two, three. <laughs> Why are we bad at this? Go. <laughs> no, you gotta like go up. With. <laughs> you gotta go up. I'm going up, dude. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> That's okay. Solid effort.